Good day, everyone. Just taking my tea break and watching the uh, turns feed outside the window here. Looking out the window of our main sitting room. You can see the turns are really feeding, which means the shoals of uh, minnows are out. You can kind of see, here, let me uh, stand up. You can up oh, and look, the herons are down there. I figured they would be. And we've had a exorbitant amount of cormorants lately. Look at them diving and swallowing under the, uh, the waves. The cormorants are so good at catching fish. The herons are a bit miffed at them because they gobble up so much, it doesn't give them much to have a little taste of. But I thought uh, today, again, just making another short little video, I thought today I would just do some random filming and uh, maybe we'll do some sketching. We'll see. I'm kind of a, just really thinking a few short videos more frequently just until I get the swing of uh, what it is <laughs> I want to be doing on YouTube. Oh, you, maybe you can see why we call this the spitting rock if the waves hit correctly. See the split between the rock when the waves hit just right? See the water spitting through? <laughs> Thus, the spitting rock. Now let's see if I sneak out quietly. Can we sneak up on them feeding? Let's go see if we can. Ah well, they won't go far though because, <laughs> although I think the terns love it when I come out because they're the uh, one birds that don't care that I come out. See there, see all the herons lined up down there, waiting for their chance for some of the shoals of fish. And there goes a little uh, flock of cormorants out, but the terns, they don't mind. And even when I'm swimming during this time, the terns just keep hunting because they hunt from the air as opposed to the, the cormorants hunt in the water and the, the herons are standing in the water where the uh, terns just fly up and then they see the fish and they dive down. Look at them skirting and flying across the surface. In fact, when you're snorkeling and when the tide's higher and you're snorkeling out there along amongst the grass, it's funny to uh, see them dive under. It's when I wish I've had a uh, underwater camera to see them dive down and catch their fish when you're down there snorkeling. But yes, yeah, just a simple another. Hope these aren't going to be boring, but I'm, I'm really just going to start taking videos daily and just making little videos of what I'm looking at and what I'm enjoying here at home. And I'm so glad to be back, even though I was only gone for a short period of time. I know some of you have mentioned you want to, are excited for me to start going to antique shops again, which I shall do, but it's really hard when it's so lovely like this at home to, uh, to get the energy to go out because there's so many things I like to do at home in the garden and with art and uh, just sitting and watching the shorebirds. So I hope you'll excuse me if I uh, maybe a couple of weeks before I hit some antique shops. But anyway, yes, this is today's video. Turns, cormorants, blue herons, sunny Cape Cod days. So uh, let's see what else we get up to in this short little video.
as I've spent uh, most of May and June sketching herons, I figured I'd share some of that sketching today. So here I start out, as I often do, just with pencil and a basic uh, a piece of paper, digital paper in this case, and I'm just uh, using basic shapes. I'm using off of the screen is uh, some photos that I've taken of herons using as a reference to kind of go by, but it's a mixture of multiple things. I like to make my composition built out of um, different things as well as made up images in my head. So here uh, you can see by shutting off the various layers, this is the second layer, this is the first layer with just the shapes and the circles, and then we can shut that off. And here's the second layer where I've gone in with that same pencil and just given more details. And that's what I love about having the layer. So this is the more detailed layer. And then this layer, uh, which will be working on the light and the dark, the highs and the lows of shading, will allow me to then put a third layer, which will be the outer outlined ink layer. Uh, because when I'm doing a study for a bigger painting, I like to do sketching and then an out ink outline and then chalk and oil pastels. So here you can see all the various layers shut on and off. So this is the final sketched, more detailed layer. So from the sketched pencil layer, next comes the outlined ink layer. So here you can see, just turning off the various layers from the basic shapes to the sketch, to now turning on the ink layer. Now here I've been inking outside of that final sketch layer, and this allows me to shut the sketch off and on as I need to, so I can see where I've laid down color and darks to get the outline, but then when I need to, I can shut off the uh, ink layer or the pencil layer. And by shutting off the pencil layer, you can see this is what would be the final layer before I go in with color. And now when I do color, I like to work as much as I do in real life uh, with oils. Um, I have a little palette with colors and then rather than using tubes of paint, I can just click to the color wheel and grab shades that I like. And then once you grab that shade, you can put it into the color palette, which you can see all that mix of color is just my paints mixed together to find the right shades that I'm looking for. And uh, as I like to do, I go in and I underpaint first and then start building up uh, lights and darks over top of that. And um, of course, I don't like to use uh, realistic, necessarily realistic colors that the herons would have in real life, but as they're blue herons, which is more gray, I'm playing and to uh, toying with that idea of actual blues because I just find it more fun. And here you can see it's really rough at this point where I'm going outside the lines because again, as it's multiple layers, when I go for that final look, I can erase things without affecting the layers beneath it. So here I don't worry about uh, the going or staying inside the lines. I'm just simply uh, going in with colors and starting to build up the color and the shade. And then what I really love is being able to go in into the background color like this on another sh uh, level allows me to have um, no worry of me going over what I've already done because again this is another layer and I'm just toying with the idea of background here. Uh, again I'm looking at uh, basically a view of our view here and a few images um, and just using the, the skyline as a representation of greens and the distant trees, the shades of blues and lavenders of the sea, the deeper blues of the shadows closer to the shoreline, and just using that as a sort of a guess of what I would like the final piece to be. And then here you can see the piece is uh, finished in the sense that this is a finished study, which I will um, probably offer for sale. I'll probably put that on things. I'll let you know if and when that happens. Uh, but this I still consider very much a study, even though it's a finished piece that I will have for sale. This is often a study for, uh, sometimes these go into uh, what I consider a final painting, which is what I would do in digital oils. Now that doesn't always happen though. Often I just am happy with the oil pastels and ink, and I call that a finished piece, and it's done. And uh, I'm going to actually be toying with some new ideas, taking these images like this, and maybe um, changing out the backgrounds for um, some designed, almost like wallpapery fabric looking patterns to put behind it because I'm kind of toying with a new uh, fun thing I'd like to start making. But I hope you enjoyed uh, this study of me uh, sketching and drawing out just some of the many herons who visit us here. And I hope you found it interesting. And uh, yes, that's today's drawing. And again, just trying to get back into the swing of making videos, uh, making art, and uh, getting into the swing of summer here. All right, let's end this video. Often on a day such as this, I can't help but want to slip into the past and feel the wind beneath my skirts. I hope you have enjoyed today's vlog. 
And remember, stay creative. <laughs>